a large antelope that inhabits dry, forested and dense brush areas of sub-Saharan Africa. The major distinguishing feature between the sexes is the magnificent spiral horns, which can grow in excess of 1,5 meters. The females are hornless and have shorter tails compared to their male counterparts. The kudu is reddish brown to pale gray in color. There are stripes along the middle of the animal's back and several white vertical stripes on either side of its body. The beast is further characterized by a gray neck and whitish cheeks, which are usually a little darker for males. The kudu's ears are large and broad. The average fully grown male weighs about 250 kilograms, while the female has a slightly smaller frame. One of the kudu's outstanding characteristics is a well-defined shoulder hump. The kudu is naturally a timid and gentle animal, which feeds mainly on a vegetarian diet of leaves, fruit and grass. This herbivore is highly nomadic and travels great distances in response to seasonal changes. The kudu is a delicacy in most parts of Africa. Today, we're in the towering capital city at the prestigious Cresta Oasis Hotel. Our destination here is the Café Afrique restaurant, which specializes in African cuisine. Back in Café Afrique, and I'm with my favorite chef, Thomas Joe. Thomas, the last time I was here, you made something unique, something different. It was a fusion of fruit and um, some African stuff. Hey, I'm going to call it African stuff because I don't quite remember. What are you going to make for me today? Yeah, today, Rogers, I'm going to make a very nice um, kudu fillet, Ooh. Uh, grilled uh, on a butter that timbale, hmm. served with um, fresh uh, mini cork yes. and uh, fr uh, traditional um, vegetables mm -hmm. that are stir fried uh, in front of you and a bit of fresh mango sauce to go with it. It's always a joy to work with you. You're always coming up with something new this and that, but the thing that I like about you the most is you never deviate from the African cuisine. You're building it, making it come out nice, it's your style. So what's the first thing that we do here? Yeah, the first thing, Roger, what we're going to do is to, to try and, and, and uh, just, yeah. uh, remove excess fat on the, on the fillet. Uh -huh. And uh, the other question that you have mentioned about the traditional, uh, this is the theme, this is all about Cafe Afrique. Mm. Cafe Afrique is here to promote uh, locally Local African dishes. Mm. So it's one of our, our endeavor uh, as a chef to, to make sure that we don't deviate, but we try and promote our African um, our food vis-a-vis -vis the, Ingri the English or the French uh, cuisine. I see. So this yes. is a style of our own. We're promoting it and doing it the best way that we can. Oh, yeah, sure. Then uh, we do the dry marinade. A bit of salt. A bit of salt. A bit of pepper. pepper. Over there. Um, as you know that in, in our traditional, in African, uh, we don't use uh, much of the flavor so that we don't dis uh, distort the taste of the... So it's the about meat. keeping things the way that oh, they really yes, are. Yes, we try and cook uh, it with uh, its natural juice. Here um, yeah, I put a uh, bit of olive oil. Okay. Uh, we can throw in the occasional one or two things to make it come out looking nice. Ah, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to grill it uh, on the griller oh. right here. Nice. Now, it's always nice to grill it. I, I find that when you grill it on a surface like that, it tends to pick up the little knots and, uh, and, and crowns from, from, from the grill. Oh ah, yeah, that's for, for presentation purposes, you need such kind of things. Uh, while this is grilling, uh, we'll be doing the, the butternut. Can you give me the butternut, Roger? While this, we leave the meat. Uh, there we go. A bit of butternut Grilling to do slowly. That. A quick check. Ooh, coming up nicely. Oh ah, yeah. The butternut or the pumpkin. Let's use the pumpkin. 
This is what I'm going to use for, for, for the best, as the best of our meat. I see. Yes. I, I, I noticed that a lot of the cooking these days is coming up nicely stacked. It's always wonderful to see the little ideas that people come with when it comes to the presentation of their food. Oh yeah, sure. I think it's Triani. Okay. It's good eats. A medium way. So that you maintain that succulence. Yes. I have a very special place, Rogers, that I'm going to use. These are cast iron. Typical. I see, and you uh, just kept it there to keep it hot, eh? Yes. But then I've got also special uh, sauce food. Fancy that hot food on a hot plate. Oh yeah, sure. Just keep it going. Yep. Oh, do you hear that sizzle? Amazing! The plate should be hot. Extremely hot. Lovely. This is our steak. Um. Oh, look at that center. I like that. We've maintained the succulence of it. Very nice, very fresh. By the time that you get to service, it's still just as hot as it was when it came out of the plate. How sure do you don't need to serve uh, what food before they serve the pot? Yeah. Now, Chef, as beautiful as it looks, it still seems to me that it's a bit dry. Yes, the sauce is curly. Ah, that's the sweet potato. That's the mini cob. I need to flavor it a bit of butter. Lovely. Just drizzling a bit of it with the meat. Then the extra sauce you can put in the pot. The chili salad. Very crispy. This is what Africa is all about. Simple food and still tasty. It's absolutely delicious. I'm gonna just borrow this quickly. Cut a bit of that meat. Giant chase the meat. Mm. I like this one. It's a very good food. Chef, this could taste absolutely fantastic. The sweet and sour sauce is just a touch. It could not do without. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Please call again.